Hello. This is the Shiko live stitching. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't do it last week. I got a sick, I got a stomach flu last weekend, last Wednesday. I'm sorry that I couldn't follow up with any of those um, sudden cancellation. I apologize for that. But um, after this, I will be doing the Sashiko live stitching. It is the place to kind of share why I do Sashiko instead of how to do Sashiko. But I like to keep doing that every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, like Eastern New York time, to share what kind of sashiko I practice, what kind of philosophy I have, why do people do sashiko in Japan, and why it is getting, getting popular. Okay, so let's do it. Let's start. I have not prepared any <clears throat> like project project so I will just simply do the Sashiko running stitch today um, I usually prepare some project uh, when I do that but I usually I mean this time I just didn't have enough time to prepare a project so I'll do just make a simple stitching and this time I do not even have a camera so I'm gonna have a kind of closer look and I hope you can get that. Hello, Susie. Long time no see. Thank you for coming. Hala, Kozu-san. Hala, te. Hala. Arigato. Hala. Kyo wa ne. Why am I speaking Japanese? Today I will just show you the running stitch a lot. Instead of. Do you see this? And if my breathing, note breathing is too much, too noisy, too annoying, just please let me know. I can adjust the um, sound, I think. It's kind of difficult because I have to stitch, I have to make a stitch over the iPad, so it's kind of difficult to do that, but I hope you will see how I make a running stitch. I've been doing good. Um, thank you, thank you for asking. Uh, I did a workshop last weekend, not like two days ago, but like ten, oh, oh, about ten days ago. I did a workshop in New York, and that was a very great success. However, after that, while I was kind of cleaning up, arranging uh, arranging all of the stuff, I got a stomach flu from my daughter, so that was on Wednesday night so I kind of skipped and couldn't update anything until today there was a question on my Instagram like how can I make this running stitch that's kind of the core of sashiko stitching so I strongly well first of all practice is one thing but before I before you practice before practicing it um, understanding how to use thimble and needle is kind of critical so i want to look at all the previous sashiko youtube live from my channel i kind of explain everything already at the same times um i am planning to offer the workshop which will be very 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 similar to what i do in new york i've spending all, i've been spending almost like what, like three months or four months to practice prepare that I have done two workshop in Japanese language to get a reviews to get a feedback if that's doable and they said that that's doable they enjoyed it they got satisfied so I am very much ready to release the information about the online workshop how to do this running stitch and if you can Take that, that'd be really, really helpful. Because the workshop, the good part of the workshop is that I can give you the feedback instead of you keep watching what I do. And since 
Oops. Since YouTube is not kind of being punctual about getting the advertisement on this channel, this is kind of a nice way to get some fund to the, my next project. So I'll give you more information later on uh, whenever it is very, very clear. The camera is not 100% great here, huh? Hello, hello, Anna. Thank you, thank you for, thank you so much for coming. I will try the other way. The camera is not that great, is it? It's not that good. I thought this iPhone was a very good idea. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, I'm gonna just speak Japanese a little bit because the Kozu is the one of the core students I have in Japan. Um, so I'm gonna just switch the language a little bit and I'm gonna talk about she's asking if she should not be commenting much in Japanese and I'm, I'm gonna say that it's okay, it is perfectly fine, but I'm gonna just focus on the Japanese this time. Come on, please. Well, forgive, forgive me that kind of not clean. My desk is not a queen either, so is it better now a little bit? I hope it's a little better. <clears throat> so today I'm using two thread. One is the uh, this one. I'm not gonna ignore you. So this is the K folded kakishi. Oh my god, it's not coming in. I'm gonna quick I'm gonna answer this question very, very quickly to that cause. She's asking me what is the color of this? What is the number? What is the um, what is the dye materials for this color? Uh, this is the pink color what I used on the Instagram. えっと、ごめん。これね。ラックダイの10番です。ちょっとこのカメラだとカメラだと色が悪いかもしれないんだけど、このピンクだよな。このピンクはえ、ラックダイの10番です。ラックダイの10番見えるかな見ギリギリ
um, except those like a miracle colors that I cannot reproduce uh, again I'm sorry my fingers is not inside of this I am planning to have a big uh, kind of not a construction but a big project to make my studio much much easier so this live stream will improve in the future right now I think you are able to watch the stitch right instead of me moving the camera You may have a question that what I'm making right now. Um, this is frosh, froshki. It's a piece of big fabric, pretty big, quite big, like two meters square, I think. I made it to two meters square, at least meter square, to wrap something and carry. Instead of like a shopping bag, the, J the Japanese used to use this kind of like wrapping fabric to carry stuff. And that's what I'm trying to. Oh, I actually made it already. Like I trimmed the edge, I finished the edge, and I'm just making the stitching. And this is one kind of experimental project um, to see what I can do without making any plans, no plans, no tracing patterns, no whatsoever. It's more like free. I kind of let my hands do stitching. To see what I can come up with. Uh, the purpose of this is to see how strong the fabric will be after making a lot of stitching. At the same time, I would like to see how I can make it like a not an art, but instead of having like a specific goal, I would like to make sure that I am I can do whatever like you know to enjoy the running stitch. Running stitch itself is pretty fun process not a fun how can i say it's very calming it's very mindful process to um to be mindful it's a nice process to be mindful so i would like to see what i can do with that i sometimes mention that sashiko is not the actual product or the end piece for me, at least. For me, Sashiko is the process of making stitches with appreciating the fabric, um, trying to repurpose what we have and upcycle. So it's not about how to make it beautiful, how to make it, uh, you know, how to make it valuable. It's more like how I can enjoy the process and then how I can make it like provide us the end value
Does it make sense? I, I hope it makes sense somehow. Well, it's kind of like a non-related topic, but my daughter's still sleeping by herself a bit. So we might, I might be able to do the workshop at night in the Eastern time. So that will be a little bit different story. That's going to be a, you know, Wednesday 2 p.m. is not the best time for many people to watch live streaming, so... It might be a good idea to do that on sometimes like weekends or at least at night after 7 or 8 p.m. That'd be really nice to have a good vibe. No, I'm sorry. I'm the cam the vision is not inside of that. Good afternoon. I love watching it stitching. The close up is a little out of focus. Yes, I am so sorry about, about that. I'm trying my best to get the focus. In fact, <laughs> In fact, I have a. I had an offer to use one of those presentation tool to uh, make a video on my, like desk the desk space. It is coming up. I think I can do that sometimes. Whenever the company replied, I can make one of those like a presentation uh, equipment to have a good, better vision of the camera. I'm so sorry that this is so dirty right now, but... Oh, what the... What the heck? <laughs> I'm forgiven. That is a bit better. I think I probably should do, like... So, but usually I do not... I do not... Kind of stretch my arm that far to make sashiko stitching so that's another problem that it um broadcasting how to do the sashami broadcasting sashiko stitching it's not very really natural but posture for me to do it well that's another reason it took three months to make a online workshop because it is very difficult to have everybody equipped Anyway, the detail is coming up soon, very, very soon. Whenever I cleared all of the stuff from the previous workshop, and I have a kind of pile of things to do, and after that, I will make sure to release those information for everybody. So it's going to be there soon. Well, it is pretty much about my equipment, I think. 
I should probably have a better camera, but I simply don't have that budget yet. Well, the dream is to have the good camera, good computer, good microphone, to have better live, stitch, live stitching. The hands movement is pretty fat so, fat, so it is kind of difficult to capture it without uh, defocusing, defocusing it, so. One day, one day. If I check the camera, I cannot check the comments. If I check the comment, I cannot check the hands. So I have to have like a set of monitors and I just don't have it. Ooh. <laughs> today, I'm sorry, I a lot of complaints today. No more complaints. I'll be just quiet. The question is, I'm sorry to have missed the beginning. Is the running stitch just smaller than the Shapiro stitch? What is the Shapiro stitch? Um, is the thread smaller? Um, I cannot compare it to Shapiro because I don't know what it is, but there's no rules for the stitch size or I can make it small, I can make it big, especially today's project, I, I don't have any, like, a vision, not a vision, but I don't have, like, a, I haven't decided the stitch size for the project, so, if you want to go big, go big, and if you want to go, you just go smaller, if you, you can go smaller, it's really, really up to your project, and thread is, uh, Sashiko Thread by Korom. You can check our website for the more information. It is thicker than the other embroidery floss, floss for sure, but it's pretty thick. And I, are you comparing the Sashiko stitch? This is the Sashiko stitch. It's not like smaller or bigger. This is the Sashiko stitching. If you, like, if somebody's using the floss, floss or the other thread, um, it is the process of Sashiko, but this is the Sashiko thread and this is the Sashiko stitching. So there's no such a thing as smaller or bigger for that. I'm using the Kakeshibu, Kakeshibu is the persimmon tanning, natural dye, it's a variegated color. It is also available. I'm sorry if I'm not kind of helping you much, I kind of decided Sure, thank you. Um, I kind of decided to not to um, answer the, a lot of requests because I started this live streaming with hoping that I can answer many, many questions about Sashiko, including how and why. But after all, I kind of realized that I have a lot of assignment. Your questions is very, very appreciated. I love to hear those questions. 
but at the same time, I just realized myself getting really stressed out to have those questions answered. So, and I don't do that in Japanese live stitching, like the live stitching in Japanese. I don't do that. I really don't answer the questions much. I, we just talk about stitching and the culture behind it. So I just decided instead of like making the live streaming more like tutorials, I just decided to continue by just talking out of it. So I might just answer very roughly and not politely. I don't mean to kind of deny your question or I don't mean to ignore that. It's just simply that it's not time for me to answer. Since I'm making running, running stitch, speaking the second language, and it's not the best time to kind of give you the specific answer. So I do have those tutorials videos already, and I am making, I am planning to upload more, um, especially when YouTube approve the advertisement thing. Uh, I will upload more, so you can check and you can go those things and. <clears throat> I'm okay, I'm preparing for the workshop and stuff like that. So I want you to just understand this is the time. The live stitching is the time to kind of uh, understand why I am doing sashiko and who I am instead of how to like instead of the opportunity to learn how to do sashiko. I hope it makes sense. It was very, very stressful to kind of prepare answers and I just didn't kind of got very unmotivated to do the Sashiko live streaming, which was not good. So, but again, like your question, the question is very much welcome, but I just probably won't answer that politely as previous video or I don't know. The other, I have never watched the other how to live streaming, but. Nope, there is no historical reasons. The, the question is, is there a historical reason why the stitches never closed? Uh, stitches does close. I mean, there, there, there is a pattern that stitch cross. I'm just simply doing 3 meters or 2 meters square fabric, so it doesn't just cross. It does cross. So she, they are... I mean, there are pattern, patterns that stitch cross. Simply, I'm not just like you know, here it is crossing. So, God, I feel much easier by you know, on this one. There was a long, long, long wait from here. Um, that question from that do a thing. Thank you so much for the questions. Um, the question is, but they don't cross over another stitch. They can. There is no reason that the cross shouldn't like the stitch should not cross. There's no rules for that. If you want to cross it, just cross it. If you don't want to cross it, you can modify that. But I prefer to have even stitches than adjusting the stitch. Sashiko is not an embroidery. Well, Sashiko is kind of like a 
full like part Sashiko has a style as embroidery but embroidery embroidery's purpose is purely decoration not purely but the main purpose of embroidery is decoration right the main purpose of Sashiko is at least was originally mending strengthening the fabric so instead of, instead of kind of adjusting the fab adjusting the stitch to make a better or nicer neat patterns i prefer to have even stitches and it looks really really good so i guess there are a lot of articles a lot of books saying like what is the rules for sashiko i do have a lot of article on my website which is upcyclestitches.com upcyclestitches.com but there's no such a thing as rules or right sashiko wrong sashiko there are better way to do it but it's more like advice so if somebody if like i think you've read some of the article and some of the books to do and to, to not to do i do not really follow that concept of what is right and what is wrong because there's no such a thing what is so there's no such a thing as right sashiko and wrong sashiko as long as it's hand stitched and as long as it's as long as it's follow the core concept which is appreciating the fabric and i do share i do teach how to do the better sashiko stitching efficient like more efficient sashiko stitching on the website and the workshop and stuff like that i hope it makes sense but there's no such a thing as like should not or should uh, this is more like a i use this analogy a lot in, on my website too but sashiko is like a pizza in the american culture if i can make like a, an example there are a lot of kinds of pizza in the u.s i mean in the world there's the new york style pizza there's a chicago pizza uh, delivery pizza frozen pizza like you know pizza 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 everywhere can you define what is the right pizza i don't think i can there are good pizza and bad pizzas I mean, they're very really delicious pizza and really nasty pizza, but they're all pizzas, right? Sashiko is the same. Like, there are kind of good sashiko and bad. No, I don't. I don't have any like bad sashiko experience, but there are better way to do it. There's more easier way to do it, but there's no such a thing as uh, this. You should do it in sashiko stitching. So, like, if I focus on talking about how to do sashiko stitching, I think I will miss the most important part of why sashiko. And I would like to focus on why part, at least on this live streaming. Because I have to kind of focus on how to when I make video for the YouTube. So just for this live streaming, I'd like to focus on why. It is really out of focus. I don't know how to make it like focused on it. But if I go far, it's kind of difficult to stitch now. You're welcome. Thank you for another great explanation. Thank you for your inspiration. I love the pizza. <laughs> yes, it's like a pizza. 
So, but there are there are better way to do it. So, and there's the preferences too. Some people like the very neatly stitched. Um, I do like that too. I like have like a neat stitches, but I don't like like a. I don't like somebody. I prefer I decide the size of stitching than somebody deciding the size of stitching. <laughs> Does it make sense? I really would like to decide my size of stitching for the project I'm working on. So. And I would like to have a rhythm instead of like caring, judging myself if I'm doing a good job or not. I like I I prefer to do like running stitch as like a rhythmical as I can instead of judging how inaccurate my stitching was. So it's not the sashiko is not a process of judge something. It's it's pretty much the process of observing what I do. So it's too fast to judge one stitch every time. So instead of judging it, I just observe the stitch and let it go. After all, after a few years, not a year, after a few hours of stitching, you have a lot of good stitching. And as long as it, you try to make an even stitch, it looks really, really good. Trust me, I've done that for so many years and the result is always surprisingly good. I hope, uh, another question, which comes first, Tashiko Boro. Uh, I hope that you will read my website, which is again, uh, Upcycle. I'm going to give you the link. Uh, let, me, let me do that. <laughs> yeah, many people stuck on that, judging yourself. Well, if you want to have a perfect stitch, just use the machine. It's so boring, but you'll get a perfect stitch. Pretty much every question you answered today is answered already here. Every question you answered, I I wrote an article there. So pretty much everything is answered. What is the borrow? What is the right and wrong? What is the, you know, th those questions are already answered on that website. So you, I hope you have time to take a look at it. But of course, I'm going to answer it here. So which comes which came first sashiko or boro uh, this is like a simplest simplest answer i can make sashiko is a process of making fabric strong, stronger by stitching or degrading the fabric and boro is the result of repeating sashiko does it make sense i'm gonna say that again sashiko is not like um, sashiko and boros are not the same. Sashiko is the needle needle work, the process of making the stitching for the purpose of either degrading or repairing the fabric. And boro is the like ultimate result of that repetitive sashiko. I hope it makes sense. We do have a lot of sporo we make, but that's like co simply keep doing this sashiko stitching on that. Does it make sense? Like, if I keep stitching on this fabric over and over and over again, over times so after using so heavily, then it becomes like a boro. I hope this makes sense to you. Like, this was the answer. I wrote, I had a, I made. I wrote an article about it too, but simply speaking, this is the answer for that. What is the sashiko and what is the boro? It is confusing. Uh, what is your favorite fabric to stitch on? Cotton, linen? I do love the fa cotton fabric. Um, especially, I like those... Um, naturally dyed this is indigo dyed so the indigo dyed cotton fabric but i like cotton a lot and i like vintage fabric too but mostly i 
three fabric I work on is cotton, denim, well denim is kind of cotton, cotton, denim, and the canvas. Canvas is very difficult to stitch, but it's doable. Linen hemp is doable, but not my favorite. Silk is also doable, but not my favorite. Um, everything else is doable, but very, very difficult to work with. Uh, T-shirt, t-shirt, like those, like shirt is too stretchy to work on, but doable. I've done the hoodies for my client. It was not an easy job, but it was good. So any kind of fabric is good. Just it's the matter of easiness, and cotton is always easy to make a stitch on. Welcome. I've done a lot of things. Like leather is doable. If you're willing, I mean anything. Paper is doable. I made a paper lampshade with sashiko stitching, with Japanese uh, Japanese paper washi. It was beautiful, but uh, it was a lot of work, so I didn't kind of keep doing that. That's a lot of tension. Which I kind of don't like. Hey, <laughs> Just have some fun. See, I just did, didn't decide the size of stitching, but it kind of looks good, right? Nope, I do not indigo dye the fabric by myself because it's kind of a lot of work to do. We dye, I dye the sashiko thread with the indigo or the other natural dye. However, the fabric I dye, I, we purchased the kind of fabric uh, weaven by the thread which is dyed by indigo. Like, does it make sense? We, I, can, I don't have a skill to weave in the fabric, so I have to ask, and it is very difficult to dye weave in fabric. Let me, let me say that again. I do not have the skill to weave in the fabric, and it is very difficult to, not a difficult, very troublesome to dye the weave in fabric, like plain weave in fabric to the nice indigo color. It's doable, but it's very difficult. So I purchased a nice Japanese made indigo fabric which was weaven by the thread which is dyed by indigo. I hope it makes sense. Well my goal is to dye everything by myself but <laughs> that's a whole other level of expertise. I'm not jumping in there. Like I need another life to kind of pursue that. I don't have that much time. Yeah, two hours to come. Yes, we we sell some of the indigo dye fabric on my website. And I tried to import some of the nice Japanese made fabric too. So I am working on updating my web store. That's my goal. That's one of the projects I have to do on this month in in May. So there are I think I have an article explaining what kind of fabric I can get from Japan. Old Jap Japan made traditionally like made, so please find the article about that, and if you could give me the email or 
just contact me about what you would like to get. I can absolutely follow up with that. <clears throat> but this fro this froshiki, the wrapping fabric, I am estimating it I estimate that it's gonna last at least hundred years by making this much sashiko stitch on this good nice cotton fabric. So that's how we kind of try to follow the Japanese tradition. Do you have a video on how to make your pincushion? <laughs> this pincushion? I do not have it yet. But I can, I mean. You mean this pincushion, right? This pincushion? I will, I will try. Give me like a few months if it's okay. I, I will work on that. Just <laughs> So it's gonna take some time because I have to film and I have to do that. And I don't need a pincushion right now, so it's, it might take a little bit of time to do that. But yeah, I'll... Your request is... I received your request, so I'm gonna work on that. Sorry, that's the... That's the best I can say about that. But it's really, really simple. Like, you make a stitch, you stitch around the fabric, you put the cotton stuff inside, and then finish it. Would it be a good beginning? I would say, yeah, yeah, it's a nice... But it, I think it's too small for the, like, a beginner's project. Like, you don't, it's, it's not a good size of stitch I can make for the first project. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Ah. It's almost three. I have to be I have to start preparing the dinner. So I will probably go off within ten minutes or fifteen minutes. I will take any kind of request. It's gonna take some time to probably get answered, but I'll do my best to follow up. Please let me know what I can do. It was a very really good live chat. Thank you so much for the good questions. What thread are you using right now? Um, is that a tulip needle? Uh, what a thread? I am using the K4 thread, which is the Takeshibu Prismon Tanning Dye thread. We have only one kind of thread. I mean, we have only one Sashiko thread. On, like I use only one kind of thread. I'm trying to kind of um, play with the other brand thread. If it's good, I'm gonna probably provide it on my website. But usually, I I've been using only one kind of thread. At least, like I've been using one thread from one single company's manufacturer in Japan. So it, they have a different colors, but pretty much the same. Uh, the needle is also, uh, this is OEM needle. I think we are the only one who is selling that. It's not a tulip needle. 
but the tulip needles named Big Eye Straight is the closest needle. Well, you can get this needle on my website at the same time. And also, there's a tulip needle called Big Eye Straight. That is really good needle as well. The Big Eye Straight is made, manufactured, or designed based on the advice from us, from my mother, pretty much. So it is really, really, really similar to what I'm using right now, but it's not a tulip needle. So It doesn't have to be the needle I'm using or tulip needle, but the key is to have the good length and good sharpness. So 51.5 millimeter is very much the key. And the sharpness. I don't want to use any dull needles. And if you're watching from the US, um, my website is perfect source, source, perfect source for the supplies. If you are watching from outside of the non-US country, if you think this shipping is too expensive, please contact me. I might be able to ask my mother or my friends in Japan to make a shipment from Japan, which could be, could be cheaper. Really depends on where I'm shipping to, but shipping is kind of, you know. <laughs> I use I use Amazon. I use a lot of websites like web stores, offering a lot of stuff. But you know, we as the customers have kind of expectation to have shipping shipping very very low or even like free. Mm -hmm. But in fact, it costs a lot, so I can kind of increase the price of my product and then include shipping, but that's going to kind of make the price so high that I feel bad. <laughs> so I kind of, well, I don't know what is the best thing I can do about it, but and I don't know how those the other manufacturers survive with paying that much shipping and viable as a business probably like a mass produce um, the problem of our pro not a project like the the pro the challenge we have is that none of our product is mass produced so <laughs> there's no such a thing as like getting a penny or getting like 10 cents per order and then make 10,000 orders and then make profit. That doesn't happen because, for example, one color of natural dye sashiko thread, we can only make 10. If you, if I'm lucky, 15 out of one batch, which is very, very small. So it's really difficult, but I think somebody got to do that. All right, uh, 10 more minutes. I'm sorry, 10 more minutes and then I'll go off. Like a lot of music. For the needle, you might have a question how long you can use this needle. Um, without even polishing the top of the needle, I use it for a month if I do 
three hours, four hours of sashiko stitching every day. But that's how good it is. I don't know if you're gonna do two hours of sashiko stitching every day for a month. Then you might want to use like a uh, polish a little bit after the needle getting dull. Not the deep. Do not use the polisher when after like right after you purchase it. It's gonna make it dull. That shop. So Hello. Hello Beth. Oops. I'm sorry, I might go off the online. I mean I might end the live streaming very, very soon. And I gotta work on how to do the better job. What do I use to the polish? There's like a polish pink cushion available online sometimes. There's like a pink cushion which has the polishable um, feeling in it. And you can just stick it out, stick it out, and then it's gonna be polished. It's not gonna be that polished much, so. If you feel like it's dull after so much stitching, like three hours stitching every day for a month, I would say like you can just replace it. It's just, you know, it's not that expensive to replace it. So I replaced Sashiko needles every two, three months. Unless it's like a, this accident. If I'm using the denim or canvas, like thick fabric, I have to kind of pull the needle very very strongly and sometimes it gets bent that's a good time to change too I don't want this needle to be straight all the time I do not use any finger thimbles and I do not use the short sashiko needle. I use only one kind. Only one kind of thimble, only one kind of thread, only one kind of needle. It's kind of simple, right? Like I do not change what I use based on the project or patterns or whatever it is. The thing I only change is the color of thread. Everything is the same. No finger thimble. I can use the finger thimble, but it's just too slow for me. It doesn't get the ribbon. Great chatting with you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you can come back next Wednesday at 2 p.m. That's my time to be online for now. I'll do my best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you have any problem with shopping, just contact me. I'm happy, more than happy to help. It is... <laughs> most of the stores are made by me. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm good at Sashiko, but I'm really not good at, like, those programming and stuff. But I don't have any fund or any budget to hire somebody professional for that. I did hire somebody for security, but that's pretty much it. That, so. If you have any problems or questions or, like, inconvenience, I'd rather... Um, I'd rather take care of that request one by one than spending a lot of money on this well you know when i can do that i would like to do it but i have a priority have a different priority you're welcome thank you so much for the question i'm i'm very happy to answer those questions i just don't answer probably i'm not gonna answer the questions like please teach me how to do that or like that like it's little bit too much to do 
in the live streaming. I, I will do those tutorials as the separate video. I'm not saying like I'm not do it forever. I, mean, I do have it already. I do have many of those online on this channel already, so please check them out. I'll talk about the history or whatever I think about, what tools, whatever it is. So like very, very small thing about Shikoku. Thank you so much for stop stopping by. All right, I'll stop after this much thread. So probably a minute or so. Graphite in your pincushion would sharpen your needle whenever you put a needle into it. Better than cotton or polyester, would, which can cause rusting. That's a nice advice. Uh, yes, that's probably what it is. However, please do not use the those like a sharpening materials for the new needle. The new needle can get dull by using those. I've done that. Trust me, I've done it, and I I've regretted it so much. Please do that when you don't. You. Needle get dull. Like you know, the needle will not get rust after a month or so. So like for the first month, you just use it as is, and then after that, you can just you know use the graphite or the other materials to polish or prevent rust as advice comes. I'm so proud of like a Japanese, you know, I'm Japanese, and I'm so proud of this. Art artisans, the craftsmanship of the needle, it is super sharp. Like, like I don't have even sense of pain on my left hand because I stopped so many times. Yeah, I really need some like a nice tool to film better picture, which is probably coming soon. So just, I don't know how soon I'm talking about. But there was an offer to, like a sponsor me for that matter. That's a really nice offer from the student. So I'll just wait for that. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will go off after smoothing the fabric. I will come back next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I will make it some tutorials on this month, in this month, March. And the biggest thing is happening in March, I mean May, is the online workshop. So I'm gonna just spread that information as well. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you next Wednesday. Bye bye.